Um, first of all, welcome. Here is our agenda. It's fairly standard stuff. If this is your first AGM, then this is how it's going to work. Um, this is basically your, as in Fines Group members, opportunity to find out what we've been up to for the last year and what our plans are for the current year. Um, you'll see my little hand signs on the agenda. That's um, for the committee members and to remind me to know when to vote. When a vote is called, it's just the committee members that need to vote. So you don't need to worry about any hands up, hand down drama. Um, a quick reminder of those statements. Uh, again, this is a safe space. Nice, actually. Uh, and this is a so please treat everyone with dignity and respect. Um, and also, we will be adhering to the CIFA's uh, competition law statement of compliance as well. So I'll be monitoring that. Um, right. First of all, let me see if this works. Some pretty colours. Yes, that's done. Great. <laughs> Please, could I have the committee vote on the minutes of the last AGM to accept? Oh, minutes. Yeah, the minutes of the last AGM or meeting. I'm confused now, but yes. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Deborah, are you voting? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we need, yeah, great. Five. Thank you. That's a quorum. So I can accept the minutes of the last AGM. And can we also vote that there were no matters arising? Uh, vote to accept that there were no matters arising. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. Hi, Cara. Thank you for popping up and uh, yeah, uh, guiding me through this. Just jump in if anything goes awry, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, great. So in which case we move on to the chair's welcome and AGM report. Um, thank you all for coming. It's been a really fun year for the Fines Group. I feel like we've uh, gotten more sort of like involved than ever before. Um, we've had a really big committee with some advisory members as well. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see where we go with that. We've been making progress on our fine specialist training commitment. Um, so this, we are now, we've been doing a lot of chatting to CIFA and other fines community groups. Um, our aim is to work with both of these um, people to create bolt-on CIFA accredited CPD that can happen at group meetings, not our group meetings, but like the study group for Roman pottery or the CBM group um, or anyone else that has a, a fine specialist group meeting. Um, this capitalizes on the captive audience of people who might want the training and also the experts that are already at the group meeting who can deliver the training. Um, this uh, course or uh, initiative has the support of CIFA and we're currently in the early stages of contacting these fines community groups to see if it's something that they'd be willing to help us develop. After our discussion of this morning, I feel like the pottery groups might be on board for this. Uh, so yeah, um, stay tuned for that. Um, in terms of our comms, uh, sorry, Kate's messaging me. Kate messaged me afterwards. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so in terms of our comms, we've been making, we have made quite a big commitment to comms when I came in as chair. So our Facebook group is up and running um, and you'll be able to find that with one of the useful links that I sent um, in the chat uh, to the Find Sig website. Um, and what am I saying? Oh, and also uh, hopefully you've seen our newsletters um, or, or newsletter. We're, we're making, we originally intended to have these as biannual, so two a year but they're actually quite difficult to pull, pull together. This may change uh, if it can be delegated to a certain person, but uh, that's I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, so yeah, improved comms is still a, a huge focus for fines, so we're still move, working on that. We continue to work closely with other groups, um, especially early careers. Um, it's been great also to um, meet up with the group reps from Advisory Council. I feel I felt a lot more... Um, collaborative stuff happening uh, within the CIFA groups um, this year. So that it's felt been really nice. The, uh, as Cara does catch-ups um, for our committees once a week. And so I've just actually met loads of people who who also are in groups at CIFA. So a thank you to Cara and CIFA for improved ways of working this year. Um, it's much appreciated and it's made our not job a lot easier. Um, Great, I think that's this year, but also do let us know if you want to collaborate, if anyone uh, represents any other groups. 
next year we've got our membership survey kate you did send me the stuff from last year so we will have stuff to, or from last time so we will have stuff to compare to um we've got over a thousand members and i and who are they so <laughs> we'd really like to find out and um, this is our is it for every five years um or something like that this is our survey of the membership so please do look out for it and also use the feedback survey from this event to tell us if there's something that you think that we should be asking you about um we'll we'll cover the whole normal range of you know what what accreditation are you what where are you working in that sort of thing but yeah let us know um we want to be able to represent your uh priorities within the survey so that we get gather the data that we need to be able to make change uh we'll be continuing to improve the finds group ways of working um with it with improved role definitions tee hee hee um which will just delegate tasks nicely amongst the committee um, I hope. And also file sharing that works. Um, we're still struggling with this, but that's a, a, a problem that will, should be solved by um, upgrading to the Knowledge Hub, which is a newish thing. Um, so we will be able to have our files in a centralized location and better work as a team. Um, we'll also be continuing our Find Specialist Crisis Progress. That will be a, a key priority for the Finds Group going forwards. Um, and uh, improving our comms further and collaborating with other groups. So please do get in touch with us if you want to collab. Okay, is that everything you do? Yes. Secretary's report, Becky, do you want to jump on? Oh, I can't hear you, Becky. You're not on mute though, so I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I can see you speaking. It's not just me, is it? No one else can hear Becky either? No, it's just shake. Shall, shall I read out your... I feel like I knew what that word was, though. Um, <laughs> uh, shall I read out your thing? Yeah. Um, so, as as Becky would say, um, were she not a, a mute, um, she, could, she could say that we've had five online committee meetings and an online AGM, and here are the dates. Um, however, we felt this is too little um, because we... we well, what happens is I end up saying, oh, my God, can we have a meeting in the next two weeks? And it's all a bit um, hectic. So we're planning on having meetings every other month, at least next year, rather than the sort of three that we normally say that we will have plus the AGM. So, um, yes, that's that's new. Thank you, Becky. Uh, delivered beautifully. <laughs> Imogen, do you want to jump on to give the Treasurer's report? You're also on mute, Imogen. Oh dear. Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not it's not too exciting. Um we asked for our, our nor our typical budget, eight hundred pounds, five hundred pounds for travel and three hundred pounds for room bookings for AGM if we needed it. Um and that was approved by CIFA and um granted the ability to to access that money. Um, based on last year's uh, sort of costs, really. So the AGM in Newark, which was a collaborative event. So um, some of the costs may not be representative um, because some people, you know, the other group took on part of the costs. But this year we've had zero expenditure because we've not had any face to face meetings and we're having the AGM and conference online. So so that's all good. <laughs> Although it would be nice to meet up sometime. So we'll have to see what happens in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's I think it. That's always the. Oh, sorry, I'm going to carry on. That's it. That's all. Yeah, I think that's always the, uh, the case is that online meetings probably preferred, but um, I'm really keen to maintain always the the um, the online version as well. Did I say in, in person meetings preferred, but online versions uh, meetings will be maintained where possible because I just think you yeah, they just so make, make it so much more accessible in terms of trans transport and travel costs, mm. both for us <laughs> and for our members who are from all over the country. So, yeah. Thank you, Imogen. Okay, here's a page where we need to vote on. So uh, first of all, can I um, have a big round of applause slash thank you for our outgoing committee members and advisors. Nicola Rogers has stepped down, who's an, a, an ordinary committee member. And Mag Svelter, our long, long-standing advisor to ICON and to Secretary and everything else is also stepping down. So thank you both for a brilliant tenure. Um, you'll be missed. 
Um, you will be missed, but we do have replacements for you. So, <laughs> um, so we have had um, a, what's it called? An application from Gulferine Cameron um, to be our new OCM for comms. Hi, Gulferine. I'm so excited to have you. Um, I nominated her and she was seconded by Rachel Kubit. Um, we also have an advisor role coming in, replacing uh, Mags as our icon liaison. So welcome to Laura Ratcliffe um, as our link to icon. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Uh, so please could the uh, committee vote to accept the current committee? <laughs> Gulfreen, you can't vote for this one um, because you're not in it yet. But Laura, you kind of can because you were co-opted OCM before. It's a bit confusing, but as long as we have five people saying yes, then we're fine. So uh, voting, please. Um, One, two, three, four, five. My name's not on that slide, but um, I oh, yeah. can vote for me. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, amended to have uh, Rachel in there as well. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, thank you very much. Hooray, new committee. Um, I'm really excited to work with you all. Uh, your AC rep remains me for now. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah, welcome, Golferine. It's so exciting. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, uh, a three-year plan review. We do this every year just to make sure that our three-year plan reflects our sort of strategic aims. As I've said, we're going to do a bi-monthly committee meeting replacing our three per year plus AGM. That This has all been run past the committee already um, as well, so we're all happy with that. Um, our newsletter is now annual, but rather than biannual, um, we never quite managed to get to out per year anyway. It's on a sort of nine or 10 month rolling thing. So annual, I think works better for us at least right now. And that's because we will be talking about our comms strategy with our new comms ordinary committee member at our first uh, committee meeting after this. So yeah, so stay tuned for more comms developments. It's very exciting times. Um, we had in our three-year plan that we wanted to do two events per year. We wanted to do a tea break, like the finds, um, Finding a Career in Finds event that we did last May, I believe, um, plus an AGM. That didn't quite happen this year, but we're having a sort of combined event. But that is still our goal for next year, having two events. So we'll uh, attempt to make that happen. And yes, the Finds training crisis is still a priority. Um, collaborating with finance communities to deliver CIFA accredited CPD as a bolt-on to events. Next year, we will also have a new three-year plan, which is very exciting. Oh, uh, committee, please can we vote uh, to accept the new amended three-year plan? One, two, three, four, five, six, thank you. That's definitely a quorum, that's enough people. Um, I think that's it, we're on any other business. So this is, this is time for committee members or um, or our or general members to raise any other business. Um, and if you have business, but you don't want to raise it right now, here is our email address. You can also find it on our website that I've pasted the link to in the chat. Um, and just get in touch. We we really want to, like to be con con contactable um, and to have more of a more of a rapport with our membership. So. Uh, Yes, we definitely don't bite. You can uh, message us on Facebook, even on Twitter. We're still on Twitter at the moment. So, um, and then yeah, or email us and we will chat about things. And that is the AGM closed. Uh, so thank you all for attending.